Hello friends, this is Deepu Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Form. So in this video, I am going to talk about how to print a character pattern program. Okay, so now let's get started. In this video, which program I am going to discuss just look. So in this video, I am going to talk about this uh, character pattern program. Okay, so logic is very, very simple, but you need to understand the program. Okay, so I am going to open my Visual Studio and going to create a class here. I am going to add a class here, one more new class, and um, class name is add character pattern. Okay, thanks. So I have added a class here. In this class, I am going to write a uh, main method, svn double tail. Okay, so now I am going to write the logic for how to print the print that character pattern program. So now we can see here in this picture the first row. First row, I am going to print only one character. Okay, that means one A. Okay, in the second row, I am going to print two. In the third row, I am going to print three A. In the fourth row, I am going to print four. Four row. That means the row value is increasing. Our character value is also increasing. Okay, friends. So the number of character is equal to number of row. So now we can. Understand the logic is easily. Okay, friends. So just write the logic first. I am going to ask the user to print the uh, to ask the number of row value. Okay, so for that purpose, I am going to create a variable num. Okay, friends. So console dot write line here. I am going to print a message to the user. Enter row value. Okay, friends. This program is also available in Java language, so you can watch. Okay. So after that, I want to store that value into this num variable. So num is equal to convert dot two into thirty two. And after that, console dot read line. Okay. So the entered value by the user will store into the num variable. After that, I need for loop. Okay, so for that purpose, I am going to create a loop. Writing the loop for integer i. I am taking i variable is equal to. I am taking here starting from one. Okay, so i value is equal to one till i i less than or equal to. Okay, less than or equal to a number number variable. Okay. So it here it is a very important to start the loop from where and end the loop where till now where we want to stop the loop. Okay, so it is very uh, important to understand. And I plus plus I will discuss in the later. So so here num value suppose if user will print five, so it is it will execute till the five value. If the num value is less than or equal to i value is less than or equal to num variable. Okay, for that purpose, I need one more for loop here inside this. So for int j is equal to here, I am going to start from num value. Num value is nothing but that is asked uh, entered by the user. J is equal to j greater than greater than I okay j greater than I and j plus plus sorry here j minus minus okay j minus one I will tell you why I am going to uh, write this j minus minus and control dot write line but here we don't want to switch to the next line for that purpose I am going to write just control dot write and here I need one space. Okay, so first of all, we can see here. This a is not starting from here. Okay, not here, but it is requires some space. So how many space it is required? It is required four space. That's why I have written here j minus one. I have started from num value. Num value suppose it is five, and j i value is one here. Okay, so first time it will print four space. Okay, and after that it will print, it will jump to the next. So 
So next I am going to write one more for loop. So inside this loop I am going to write int j is equal to 1 here. I am going to for this loop I am going to write for printing this a. Okay, printing this a. Okay. So j is equal to 1 to j less than or equal to here j less than or equal to i okay and j plus plus because every time every row i want to increase the value of character okay so console dot write line not write line but write here so i want to print here a okay friends so after that we can see the picture after printing a we need some space that means one space is required for me so here i am printing one space here for that purpose i need to give here one space okay after that so the condition is true suppose in the first line in the first time it will actually it, it will the first time it is here j value is 1 and it will check so j value is greater than equal to i so first time it will print 1j before 1a one because here the condition is true and the next time j value will be increased so j value will be 2 so the next time it will, this condition is not true that time it will not print the first time it will print only 1a and the second time then then this loop this i value is true at that time this this loop also executed two times and this will print this a is okay then so for that purpose but after printing this a the first i am talking about the first row okay so i am here so first after i want to move to the next line after printing one a that means if i is equal to if i am i am here suppose i value is equal to one if after executing this complete loop that means this condition i want to jump to the next line for that purpose i am going to write the console dot write line so it will jump to the next line okay friends after that oh, console dot read line for it for showing the real to the, to the user okay so you can see my program is completed and i am going to run this program so first of all Okay, it is character pattern. So, save this program. Okay, friends. So, now I am going to press F5. Now, we can see the output as expected. Okay. So, my solution is build. Building is started. So, I hope this is very simple program and you can understand easily. Suppose I am enter, I am going to enter 5. So it will print the file. Okay. As you guys as you can see here, the output is expected. I am going to run again. Here I am going to print up to seven. So you can see the output is as expected. So it is a dynamic program. You it is very simple program. Okay, so you need to uh, think about these two lines. It is a both very important for you. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel and this code is available in my blog. Okay. So, and this is my Facebook page. All the updates are available in my Facebook page. You can like my Facebook page and you can follow me. Okay. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, let me know through comments. And don't forget to uh, give your uh, feedback by commenting. Okay. I am waiting for your feedback. And if you have any suggestion for me, please give your suggestion. Okay, guys, thank you and all the best. And for that, for and I have one request: if you did not did not subscribe my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit this bell icon because this bell icon will send you the notification when I will upload a new video on my YouTube channel. Okay, guys. So here all the latest interview questions are available. You can watch my so all these video according to your requirement you can track easily your interview thank you guys and all the best